Here's this little temporary bridge that we rode under the other day. And that shows you, I definitely couldn't ride under that right now. What's going on? Down here on the Delaware River at Yardley. I was out here yesterday and the water was just so clear and beautiful. Uh, so I decided to bring my goggles out and do some underwater with this GoPro because maybe find some treasures or something. But then I come out today and the water's up another foot and a half and the turbidity is definitely, I mean, it's certainly not as clear as it was. I'm gonna give it a go anyway though. put this grip tape up here covering the Kawasaki logos and I mean it just really you, helps you utilize the space up here you know and this freaking thing's the best upgrade ever put an Arctic cooler on the back of here knock off Yeti but load up with beer or all your tools whatever you need also fits two five gallon VP jugs perfectly Yeah, current's ripping pretty good. Should've came out yesterday. Well, I should've brought my goggles yesterday. Looks like a log got hung up on this rock right here. This area is really fun to come with the stand-up jet ski. You just kind of toggle back and forth out here. Alright, let's see what it looks like over here. Well, no treasures yet. The uh, current's just a little too strong. So check this out. This is like a must have for everybody. You can get a three pack of these on Amazon for like eight or nine bucks. You know, you slide your phone in and lock these out. Toss it in the water, no problem. She floats, beautiful. I mean, barely floats. Like if we push it down, it goes down pretty low, but it slowly makes its way back to the top. The cool thing about these grips too is like, say you're pushing off, right? You'd normally spin it around, but nope. You just hop right on the front, no problem. Booyah. Same river, next day. Water's up about five feet though, and there's a lot of debris. I'm gonna try to bring it back to the same spot we were and show you what it looks like up there. Might have to take it slow because there's quite a few trees floating out there today. Don't know if you can see this, but the water height yesterday was around uh, about nine feet, and now it's up over 13 feet, and it's spiking pretty good. It's supposed to go up to 17 feet on the gauge height at Trenton. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to turn back. There's just too many jet ski killers out here and I, it's not worth it. I would have la launched at the same ramp I did yesterday, but that ramp's underwater right now. So I had to come south near Trenton here and, and try that ramp, but it's just come out tomorrow. I mean, it's just too much debris. While I'm out here, I'm gonna stop and check out my childhood hangout spot. We used to go here and have like 20 foot bonfires on this island. This is uh, Rotary Island here. There it is. That's it. I don't know how deep it is here, but let's try to get in without. Oh yeah, <laughs> just like that. God, it's great having, damn, it is deep here. Holy smokes. Wasn't sure what the drop off would be, but I'm not wearing my bathing suit. That ain't going nowhere. Never rely on a clove hitch. It's not a good idea. We'll use this leaf right here as a gauge height. Two fingers under it. See if that comes up by the time we get back down to our ski. 
Well, here it is. It's pretty overgrown and the tree we used to swing on is completely dead. Look at that. It's probably from throwing so many hatchets at it. This is the pyramid and remember this I-beam is about 17 feet high because I measured it once. I was going to use it for a project. <laughs> Don't know how I planned on getting it home. The story I was told with this pyramid is that back way back in the day, probably like the 50s or something, Boy Scouts would transfer their gear from New Jersey out to here. And that's what that, that big I-beam on the end of there, they would uh, have a zip line going across and they bring all their gear out and come camping on this island. Right here is another fine example of concrete to cat's meow when it comes to posts. These were put in the ground probably about 60 or 70 years ago. And yeah, this one got chipped and the rebar's rotten a little bit, but still sturdy as can be. And this one's in perfect condition. Got nice exposed aggregate coming out. And this is probably concrete that was brewed up here on the island too with the pebbles from the river. But that's, that's a thing of beauty. Gotta love it. I'll probably last another 70 years, no problem. Boy, I wish I brought shoes. Now, just beyond this, there's another spot I wanna show you. We'll see if that's still there. Not my party spot, but some other kids used to come here and they built a concrete half pipe. It's actually pretty cool. Let me get over there for you. So they made their own, this is their fire pit right here. This concrete pad was always here since I used to come out here too. It's probably why they picked this spot. It's a little bit better, but uh, yeah, check out this little half pipe they made. I never actually skated this thing before, but pretty neat. Got some cinder blocks there and yeah. And there used to be like a huge tree fort up in here, but it's cool. You know, these kids come out here build some tree forts and such. and. Yeah, they trash it up, but hey, anybody need a gate for their farm? That thing's nice. And we're back down here about 15 minutes later. Look at that. So she rose about two fingers or inch and a half or so in 15 minutes. Water's coming up for sure. This one right here, about a, probably three foot diameter trunk or so. This is a boat killer. This thing's about 80 feet tall. It's connected all the way down to the end. All right, here we are 17 hours later. Considerably less debris out there. I mean, there's still some floaters, but you can see the river is now on the downward spike. It peaked around 16 feet and it's now at 15.83. So we're gonna shoot up and check out the Scudder, uh, Scudder's Falls up there. Anybody need a new bench? There you go. So here's the ramp I launched at the other day, and I mean, you see what I'm saying? You definitely can't use it. You want me to come over there? It's too shallow. It's too shallow over there. Yeah. All right, I've been out here when it's 23 feet and you can connect with the canal. I mean, I'm not saying it's smart. I stick close to the shore. I'm a strong, fast swimmer. If I hit something where this goes down. I agree with that. Well, I know I sound like a jerk off, but those guys basically tried saying I have to come out of the river. It's illegal and it's not illegal. It's only at 16 feet. It's not even at flood stage. Is it smart or safe to be out here when it's this high? Absolutely not. But if you look at all the other dumb crap I do, well, then you realize that yeah, it's not illegal. So what the heck? Just for a gauge height reference, here's this little temporary bridge that we rode under the other day. And that shows you, I definitely couldn't ride under that right now. Here's the same little island we stopped at with that rope swing and well, it's not existent anymore. And this fault line here, or the Scudder's Falls, it's up too high to have any rollers or fun here. It's, uh, so I'll have to come out in a day or two when it's a little bit lower and there'll probably be a better action. Check that out, the GPS speed out here, about six or seven miles an hour. Not too fast, but could definitely make it home in decent pace at this. See the gauge height on this thing? I painted that like, I don't know, probably eight years ago. or at one foot intervals, never got around to labeling them though. I'll have to do that one of these times. Yeah, 
I caught back up with that red chair over there. This is what I like to do. Come up, got a perfect docking station here. Just pull on nice and subtle. Boom, like that. Get docked up, and then you can do balance beam. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, do I have my phone in my wallet? No. Let's head back out of here. I guess I can see somebody calling the cops or fire police if I'm doing this. Oh yeah, that was a, that was a perfect duck, huh? Just forward right over it. No problem.